Matu Puna, for my ancestral mountains, I greet your mountains. My Oku Awatu Pua Erere Erere, from my ancestral rivers to your sacred waters. My Oku Fenua Tu Puna, Oku Iwi, Oku Hapu, Oku Fano, from my ancestral Fenua, our lands, our ancestral homelands to your ancestral homelands and your people and your whānau, your families. Anamihi ake aroha ki a koutou katoa to my whānau of humanity, my family of humanity, te nā koutou, te nā koutou, ko Pūoro Jerome tōku ingoa. My name is Pūoro Jerome. E manu whakatangi Pūoro ahau, and I am a taonga Pūoro uh, cultural practitioner. But what is Taonga Pūoro, you might be asking? Well, let me tell you, let me share with you. Taonga is a gift, a treasure, both unseen and seen. But all of this is felt. Pūoro is the sound, the resonance, and the songs of the natural world. Taonga Pūoro are the voices of the elements, the voices and songs of nature. And so... I'd like to share with you my whānau, my family of Taonga Pūoro, handed down from our tūpuna, our ancestors. Each and every instrument has a whakapapa, a genealogy. Each and every instrument has a pūrāko, an ancestral story that goes with them. So over here we have our Taonga Pūoro Māori. Some refer to them as our Māori musical instruments, but they're more than instruments. On this side over here, we have modern technologies, and together we're going to combine and share with you something we call the Oruatua. So sit back, relax, take a breath in, and be taken away by these beautiful sounds of nature of Aotearoa, New Zealand. A Māori aroha kia tātou. When I say ka u, we're going to take a breath in through your ihu. And when we say ka ha, we're going to let out a long, slow breath through the mouth. Burr out the whole mayangi atafiri, just like a soft summer breeze. And uh, before we do that, I'm going to invite you to re remember the time when you were in the whare tangata in the sacred womb of your mother. Something all of us go through, no matter who we are or where we're from. And we're going to focus on the pito, the belly button, because once upon a time you were joined to your mother, from the pito to the rauru, from the belly button to the umbilical cord. And you were surrounded by the waitapu, the sacred waters of your mother. So we're going to think about these things. And we're going to take a deep breath in, ka'u, and ka'a. Beautiful. Ka'u and Kaha. We're going to re remember that our mothers were also joined to our grandmothers in the same way. Our grandmothers to our kui kui, our great grandmothers. And we can follow our whakapapa, each and every one of us, our genealogy through this line. And eventually we come back to the first mother of us all here on Papa Tuanuku planet Earth and that is our Earth Mother. So let's take a deep breath into that space with those thoughts and let us reconnect to Earth. Ka'u and Ka'a. Beautiful. And now just relax and follow the sounds. Whaiatu ngā oro oro o tātoutu puna.
Ha <laughs> This time I'm going to invite you to use your imagination and in this imagining we're going to go for a walk down to the beach together and we're going to look out to the great expanse of Wainuiati, the great ocean, the realms of the ocean and in this imagining we're going to shape shift from our human form into a little ika, a little fish and we're going to dive into the water and when you dive into the water, you can feel the lightness of being this little fish. Now you're a fast little fish, so nothing can touch you. There's no harm that can come to you. And away you go, you're going to swim far out into the depths of the ocean. Out into the beautiful moana. You're going to swim so far that you're going to swim out to the furthest part of the ocean you've ever been. And when you get out to the depths of the ocean, you're going to see in the distance a silhouette of a beautiful mother whale. Below her tail was a little baby whale there, swimming peacefully with her. And uh, you can feel this beautiful tohora, this whale, summoning you to come and spend some time with her and her baby. So you swim up as this little ika, past the baby, as she's looking at you, and past the belly of the, of the mother whale up to the head of the mother whale and now you're going to stop right in front of her eye and just for this last part we're going to look into the eye of the mother whale this taonga puro that i'm wearing around here is a nguru comes from the tooth of a mother whale that was taken a long time ago and handed down comes from a mother whale and her baby when they were stranded our tupuna our old people took care of those whales and eventually they took the tooth out and made it into this beautiful nguru. So we're going to hear the call and the cry of the beautiful mother whale as we sit out there and listen. And lastly, I'd like to share with you all a beautiful kōrero I've been here, my, my uh, whanaunga, my relation, and a good friend, Ricky, um, talk of, and that is uh, something that we can all connect to. And it goes like this. Tuia ki te rangi, tuia ki te whenua, tuia ki te moana, e rongo te pō, e rongo te ao. And what that means simply is, we as humanity are woven into the stars in the sky. We're woven into this beautiful land. We're woven into the sacred waters that flow out into the ocean. And the water is something that connects us all. E rongo te pō, e rongo te ao. And I observe this in the darkness, in the night. And we observe this in the light of day. Mauri ora kia tātou katoa.